she came over the intercom to tell us um, that we needed to go get in positions. How to get them out into the hallway where we normally go for tornado procedures. Um, they all got down along the wall. The power had gone out at some point in time, so the kids were all pretty scared. I don't remember when, but she came over the intercom again while we were looking out the window and we had already seen it coming. She came over the intercom to say it was here. And so at that point, I mean, all the teachers got, actually got down and I got down in a spot um, in the middle of some of my kids. Um, put my arms over as many of them as I could. And then it just hit. I mean, it just happened so fast. I don't I don't know how long we were trapped under there. I mean, I couldn't see anything. I couldn't, we couldn't move. We couldn't move. The crying had stopped then. After a while, we started here. I could hear people coming and we can hear them. But I mean, I didn't know they, I wasn't sure that they knew we were where we were at the time. I had kids right by me, right next to me. So I just said, and I kept telling him they're here cause I can hear them there. And that was gonna be okay cause they were going to get us. I know they pulled my student on this side of, on my left side out first. So I knew he was okay and they started moving some stuff above, right above our head. And I was, finally I could kind of reach my hand up and somebody grabbed a hold of my hand. And they said that they were here and they were going to get us. So they pulled me out and they just handed me from person to person down the line. And the hospital was just a, I don't, I mean, I remember it sort of, but it was just too much all at once. I mean, it was like doctors coming at me left and right, telling me a million things that I wasn't processing at the time. They did tell me that, well, they wouldn't let me move because they had taken a CT and some other things, I don't know, but, um, they had a stitch up my hand. My sternum was fractured. My spine was fractured in three places, I think. Um, but the baby was okay. They did tell me that. Reached out. Of my students' families, yes. Um, I've gotten a chance to talk to all of them. Um, when we got out of the hospital, I mean, we had missed a few of the funerals, but we went to all of them that we could make after. I got to see them and I got to talk with them a little bit. Um, I've had some fam, I had a family that actually came up here to spend some time with me and to talk for a bit too. So. Will you go back? To teaching? Um, 
I mean, I'm not going to lie. There's a part of it, a part of it that really scares me right now. But I can't imagine doing anything else. So, yeah, I won't.